Christine McKinstry of Seattle, Washington. She's dressed in her working clothes and ready to face the panel on What's My Line? And now let's meet this week's panel. Soupy Sam! Jane Meadows! Steve Allen! And the host of What's My Line, Larry Clark. Hello, all bodies. Hello, Hello Larry. Hi, Larry. Is all well? Yes. yes. We so have fun. here today... Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, Golly, will Don't you see? Show so far. Well, it's fit. Well, so long, folks. We're a little late. So would our first challenge you enter and sign in, please? Don Esposito. Where are you from? Rockwell Center, Long Island. Okay, panel. Don Esposito manufactures products which are used in show business. We will now show the audience what his line is. Very often, panel, when there's a delay, uh, when the audience applauds, when they see what it is, it's because sometimes it's just difficult to read because of the color against whatever the person is reading. It doesn't necessarily mean it's terribly complicated. <laughs> I'll throw them off. And now let's begin the questioning with Jane Meadows. Well, we just thought that it was a serious product because there was no laugh. Right. You have a beautiful name, Esposito. This article that you manufacture, <laughs> oh, it's a gorgeous name for again. show business. I love the name. <laughs> Would it be anything musical at all? No. No. One down, nine to go, Steve. Does it have anything to do with dancing? No. Two down and eight to go, Arlene. When it is used in show business, is it seen on the stage? Yes. Rather than backstage? Yes. Uh, is it used um, in any kind of magical performance? It's possible. Yes. Uh, do you make things that might be used in a magic show? That's what he does. He makes tricks uh, for magic. For magicians. <laughs> That's so rude. We're <laughs> just gonna throw them all over. Yeah? <coughs> and how she did it. Yeah. That's one, Marlene. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's magic. You're guessing that. I tell you, every now and then she does that and wipes everybody out. Well, Don yes, is a co-owner of Creative Magic Products Incorporated, which factory builds professional magical illusions. And he also is the owner of his own magic store. If you're the first one to build, uh, factory build tricks, how did people get them before that? Well, no, we're the first ones to build custom-made illusions for a magician's needs, such as a size, a color. Women are getting bigger today. They need larger illusions. But how do they... How, <laughs> what <are> they <laughs> I'm on. Like, like these things in, that you see sometimes in Las Vegas or in Magic Show, which is spectacular, right. where a whole tiger disappears or something. How do they do that? Well, he would come to either a fellow like me or go to some builder who is capable of doing that. Now, in the old days, before there was a factory who would build them, how would a guy get his tricks made? That makes, makes him himself? himself. That's what the problem was. Yes. Really? Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of men did have to do that, yes. What that happened means. to all those tricks that people like, uh, Thurston. like, uh, Thurston. Thurston. Thurston and all those guys, Houdini used to do, and nobody does them anymore, it's because the trick went with them, is that it? Well, we don't have the theaters to perform the tricks today that we had, say, 10, 15 years ago, or 40 years ago. We mean with trap doors and things like that? Well, not necessarily trap doors, but the magician today is, doesn't have the, um, the settings. He can't afford to lay out that kind of money to rent the whole theater and to do like a Broadway show. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we're very fortunate now to have Doug Henning, one of the leading Broadway shows right now is a magic show. Yes, and we're it's tickled pink. Did you do that stuff? No, I wish I did. <laughs> but it's a successful magician, and that's good for everybody. I yes, guess. it's fair. How did you get into it? I started when I was 10 with a magic set. <laughs> and one thing led to another, another. And then I turned professional. I started traveling around doing magic. Is it true that most successful tricks are simple? <laughs> Depending on what it is. Basically, I mean... Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Could you show us a oh, simple magic please. trick? Mm. Yes. Uh, let's, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go one step better. How would you like me to teach you how to, and the panel how to do 
a trick. Yes. And we'll oh, all do yeah. that's dynamite. Gonna Listen, make us all disappear. We're going to break for a commercial, and then during the time we're gone, Don is going to teach us each one how to do a trick. All right? Wonderful. And then we come back, we'll do a trick for you. Don't go away. We'll be right back with the great magic two on What's My Line. We'll continue in a minute. You can leave anytime you want. Beef just got faster with heat and eat beef dishes. We do all the cooking. So all you do is heat and eat. Mm. So good, it's gone as fast as you made it. Look for heat and eat beef dishes in your grocer's fresh meat case. Beef, it's what's for dinner tonight. 50 is beautiful. And to stay that way, Pro-Vital Perfecting Moisturizer. It evens out skin tone with a hint of sheer color. So you're radiant, glowing. Pro-Vital from Olay. Proven to be why women over 50 look so wonderful. Dad? Critics <laughs> 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 rave. Meg Ryan will steal your heart in the irresistible comedy <laughs> that celebrates sisterhood. <laughs> Hanging Up, rated PG-13. Opens everywhere Friday. You know, my friend, Mr. Moretti, he worries about the arthritis pain in my hands. So he came with me to the doctor. Now I am on a wonderful treatment. Tylenol Arthritis Extended Relief. Take comfort in our strength. Recent studies have shown that a diet rich in tomato products is associated with a reduced risk of certain types of cancers. So enjoy Campbell's Tomato Soup. Want something good for you that tastes good, too? We have a soup for that. Campbell's Tomato Soup. May good fortune be with you, may you guide in her light be strong. And may sunshine and happiness surround you when you're far from home. But whatever road you choose, I'm right behind you, win or lose, forever young, forever young, forever young. Once again, it's time to test your game show IQ. Whoa. It's a tough one. Nice one. <laughs> Dessert for you. Family Feud, today at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, only on Game Show Network. This is either going to be one of the great firsts of show business or an utter catastrophe. It was time now for the really big magic show. So could we open the curtains and I will present to you the amazing Arlene. <laughs> hey. Here you see some handkerchiefs discarded by Soupy Sales <laughs> that have not touched any other nose. <laughs> I will make them disappear before your very eyes. They are on this very simple slate, as you can plainly see. There's nothing underneath, there's nothing on top, just the glass and the handkerchiefs. Are you watching carefully? Yes. Go, 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 go! <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the sleight of hand sorcery of stupendous Steve. <laughs> we take this quart pitcher of milk, my friends, and we fold up this paper previously very neatly, and we pour the milk, of course, totally right down there. That's fine, and we just fill up the cone. There we are. Put the remaining milk down, we take the paper, and there you are. Yay! Yay! And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present for your edification the queen of prestidigitation, Madame Jane. As you can see, I have nothing up my sleeves, ladies and gentlemen. I have just this very attractive box. You see, oh, both please. sides, isn't that lovely? <laughs> now I'm going to take this side out. I shall now trade, yeah, I think I'm going to be able to, I'm a beginner, remember, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to now put this back again like that. As you see, there is nothing there. Now I shall squeeze this together and say, abracadabra, 
And guess what comes out oh. of my mouth? And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present the man with the seven thumbs, Soupy <laughs> Sales. <laughs> It gives me great pleasure to do this trick for you, ladies and gentlemen, because I recently uh, performed this uh, when I was over in Europe, where I called on uh, two kings. Unfortunately, the other fellow had three aces. <laughs> Could you hold the music down a little bit? <laughs> Listen, get dressed. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So it will not, that's it. Yeah, right, why don't you all sit down? And I will risk one my very own self. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will perform a trick never before seen on television and never before performed by anyone in front of a live audience. And now, here you see a perfectly formed little box. This is the little box right here, ladies and gentlemen. And now, if you will give me the bird, Jennifer. Oh. Thank, you. Oh. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. There is a bird. <laughs> this is known a as dove. a white dove. Oh, beautiful. Aww. That is to calm the bird. <laughs> I, I will now place the bird. the bird in the box. Get the tail of the bird in the box. <laughs> there we are, the bird. Get the tail of the bird entirely into the box. The bird is now in the box. Ladies and gentlemen, I will now lift the top of the box from the box. As you see, there you are. Thank you, my dear. And now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Where is I? Thank you. Listen, come back, come back. Thank you for teaching us all these tricks. It just proves that even an idiot can do it if he's got a big piece. Well, thank you. Well, <laughs> Now, I think you will agree, panel, that it Where's is not the bird? every day. Where's the pretty bird? The pre oh, gone. gone. With my handkerchiefs. <laughs> that, that bird has flown away to Spain. Oh. And now, will our next challenger enter and sign in, please? Ah, well, you see what happens when they rush you. There you are. Gee. Okay. Are you Mr. Nice to see you. Thank you. Sit right down there. Where are you from? Seattle, Washington. Okay. Panel, Jean McKinstry sits before you in her working clothes. She performs a service and will show the audience what her line is. I will tell you now, she does not find lost doves. <laughs> and now then, let's begin the questioning with Soupy Sales. Thank you. Now, Gene, you walked out with all that equipment, so uh, naturally everybody's going to say, do you work for the phone company or do you climb a telephone pole or something like that? And I imagine you don't do those things, do you? No. That's it. No. Can we rule out you're a ballet dancer? <laughs> That's exactly. uh, well, I have the... Yeah. Now, what are, for it. Are, now, now, what are we? What are we really supposed to look for? What Find out doing? what service she performs. What service she performs? What's my line? What her line is? <laughs> That's a great name for a show. Oh, yes. That's good. Okay. Now, do you uh, do you do this job out of doors? Yes. Uh, do you ever? Uh, are you ever uh, off the ground? Oh yes. Would you stand up again? Please, ma'am. Please, I'm sorry, sure? please. Now, you got the spike, so that means you do climb a tree. 
Okay, you want to come back with now, the kids? Good. Here, thank you, Gene. Word, you yeah. say if you know. Now, are you either a telephone lineman or a tree surgeon? No. One down and nine to go, Jane. You are neither of those. Neither one. But you do climb. Neither or neither. Yeah. But you do climb. It looks a little, your equipment, like window washing, but we can rule out you're not a window washer, no. are you? No. Do you climb on the outside of buildings? No. Two down and eight to go, Steve. You climb on the outside of trees. Outside of trees. <laughs> yes. You, you do climb trees. Yes. You're a tree climber. I rest my case. <laughs> no, they said she was not a tree surgeon. No, she's not a tree surgeon. Are you a tree obstetrician? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Uh, did you ever hear about the tree doctor that fell out of his patient? There was a story. Like that. I wouldn't tell stories like that. Anyway, you were a lumberjackess. J a jackess. No. 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 Jackarina. Lee down to seven to go, I leave. Yeah, I know what she is. But now, do we have you in a tree, Jean? That's right. <laughs> We've got you in a tree. Yes. We'll right. get you out of there somehow. Don't you worry about a thing. <laughs> you do something in a tree <laughs> that a bird wouldn't do. Um, I can rule out that you're a logger. I'm yes. not a logger. Uh, do you do anything with... Uh, getting the sap out of a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Any sap I know. Sometimes a tree takes the sap out of me. Because that high. Bless you. Soupy? <laughs> do, you, do you ever, do you, do you, when you climb, do you walk away with something of value? Well, sometimes. Just sometimes. Would the, that, those things of value be some kind of eggs? No. Five down and five to go, Jane. Ah, well, I had thought for a moment she was a mountain climber, but it is tree. It Trees. is something that you do to a tree. Does it have to do with any particular type of tree? No. No. Any. Six down and four to All go, Steve. What can you do in a tree that isn't uh, surgery in or tree houses. lumber jacking or something? Uh, Cuts the top. I am. I am stumped. It's a tree stump, folks. That's what it is. <laughs> she decorates trees. She decorates. Could that okay, be like I mean? you do things with Christmas trees of some kind? No. Well, why would she go up there? We're, we're a little out of time. Do you so wait? Do you have anything to do with any uh, thing like eagles in trees? No. 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 Birds. But she no. has to do Nest. with cats. She rescues oh. cats. Oh, I thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, oh. that must make Mr. Katz very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Katz. What do you charge for a cat rescue? Oh, anywhere from 5 to $35. How many cats have you Usually rescued? Usually about 15 Really? What, how many cats have you rescued? Let's start tomorrow. Uh, it's upwards of 400 Wow. Oh. Up, upwards about, is definitely the word, right? Uh, <laughs> what do you do when you, <laughs> What do you do when you get a difficult cat? <laughs> well, you Man. try to be persuasive first and... Uh, if that Say, hey, man, <laughs> come on out of the tree. <laughs> if that doesn't work, you just grab and hope for the best and stuff it in a sack and let it down on a parachute cord. Now, is this to put the cat in? No, this is to carry the... Uh, cat I, did, I didn't bring a regular cat sack. Uh, cat sack? This is the parachute cord, and you let it <laughs> down. Cat sack. And, uh, and you got What's the bigger. highest up you had to go to get a cat? About 80 feet. That's Ooh, a long yeah. way. Ooh. Well, listen, good luck. It's Thank you for coming on the show. And whatever you do, don't let the cat out of the bag. Thank you for being here. We'll be back with more of What's My Line right after this message. For people with type 2 diabetes, diabetes? News about a proven treatment option that could help lower your blood sugar. An option? is only a phone call away. Okay, how's it gonna help me? Call today and we'll send your free diabetes management kit. It's a special offer for people who want to control their blood sugar. It has important information that can help you manage type two diabetes better and information about a proven treatment option for diabetes. Call now for this important information that could help you lower your blood sugar, which could help prevent or delay complications like blindness. Better blood sugar control could mean a healthier tomorrow, so find out more today. 
Call now and we'll send your free diabetes management kit with information about lowering your blood sugar and about a proven treatment option for type 2 diabetes. The more you know about diabetes, the better you'll be able to manage it. So call now. Okay, I'm calling. Brought to you by Bristol-Myers Squibb, a leader in diabetes care. They say bigger is better, right? Not exactly. For occasional loss of bladder control, there are big, bulky undergarments. And there's this. Poise Ultra Plus pads with side shields. Incredibly, this pad protects as well as a regular undergarment. That's because Poise Ultra Plus has more of this special absorbent material inside called Dry Touch that absorbs more than 10 times its weight in fluid. So you stay dry and comfortable. Poise Ultra Plus pads. The freedom to be yourself. Hey, Annie Matthews. What's on your plate today? Today's going to be great, but really busy. 10, maybe 15 cuts. Lunch's here, Annie. I'll probably grab a quick bite when I can. Annie, your two o'clock's here. And maybe get heartburn. I used to think Tums if I'd already eaten. Not anymore. You can take Pepsid AC whenever you need it. Pepsid AC controls heartburn before, during, or even after you eat. Of course I can take you. No matter what's on your plate, today should be heartburn free with Pepsid AC. How to be a real Hollywood player, tip number 13. You can drive an expensive car, but not until you win the game. Hollywood Showdown. Be a player. Weeknights at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Okay, we're back, and it's time now for the special feature of What's My Line, the appearance of our mystery guest. Are your blindfolds all in place, panel? Yeah, yeah. Then would our mystery guest enter and sign in, please? Okay, panel, we go one question at a time. Face law prevails. You have about two minutes, and let's begin with Arlene Francis. Thank you. Mystery guest, uh, do you perform more on television than any other medium? Uh, half and half. Soupy? Half and half? Yeah. Soupy? Oh, half okay. Half and half on. Uh, uh, <laughs> mystery performer, do you also record? Uh, sometimes. Jane? Are you a female? Sometimes. No, I mean, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Steve? Female. Are you chiefly a comedian? Uh, sometimes. Arlene? With that voice, you must sing. Half and half. <laughs> Zoopy? Well, uh, are you playing in town at the moment? No. Jane? Unless this is Milwaukee. <laughs> Jane? Uh, are you on a regular television series, or have you ever been? Uh, which part should I answer? Have you ever been? Yes. Steve? Was it a situation comedy show? No. Arlene? Um, have you been on talk shows quite a lot? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd like to take a guess because she's funny and, 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 and I think it's Phyllis Newman. That's yeah. right, baby. Yeah. <laughs> a great voice. Great voice. <laughs> Satchmo Newman. Yes. I, I don't know where I got that voice from. I love it. From Adolf. <laughs> <laughs> you know, artists are inspired every so often. Yeah, this hang is one on of those to it. It's not in my... <laughs> yes. You can play everybody's part. Right. Listen, you're going to direct. Yes, I am. I'm going to direct a review called Straws in the Wind, which will be the second production of the American Place Theater here in New York. And it's very exciting because it's about what the future may hold for all of us, which is something I think that everyone's interested in, with material by people like Comden and Green uh -huh. and Cy Coleman, Steve Sondheim, Peter Stone, Herb Sargent, Galt McDermott, Ira wow. Gassman, and other Holy people I, ca I, I have forgotten. Yeah, it's a very exciting project. Is it material they've done in the past or All is it new? brand new written for this. All brand about the future, new. about what's going to scare us, what's going to be good for us. It's the first contemporary thing I I've, I've think is that's going to be on in a long time. <laughs> Listen, who's going to be in it? Do you know? Oh, we don't know yet. There will be a cast of six, and most of them probably not well known. That's marvelous. Yeah, I'm very excited. When did you decide to turn director? I've wanted to for many years, but it was hard for a woman, and now things are getting easier for a woman, and I'm very pleased about that. Well, it's, it's the high truth. time. Yeah. 
Well, if anybody could do it, you could. You've done reviews. It's a very tough form. It is. It, uh, it's uh, uh, hard to get all these people to get all this material, but if, if it comes off, and I'm hopeful that it will, it's kind of exciting. It'll well, be a new kind of review. Well, are they able to get that kind of material because you're doing it? I expect that has something to do with it. Well, I certainly lean on them a lot. <laughs> I call them up a lot and say, where is it, you know? But you know them all, so you're able I to... I know do them. most of them, yes. And, and, yeah. I just think that's spectacular. So do I. I'm not going to ask you when it's going to be because it might uh, not be on It'll the It'll be when it's cold. When, it, when it's cold, it'll <laughs> When it's cold, I can't mention dates. When it's cold, we'll go to the theater. review. <laughs> and you'll, what's the name of it again? Straws in the Wind. Straws in the Wind. And Phyllis Newman's going to direct it at the American Place Theater. Good luck with Thank it, you. Phyllis. That's really exciting. Thank Thanks for coming on the show. We'll be back with more of What's My Line after this message. All right, honey, let me have it. There's an easier way to see stars. Hollywood Squares, weekdays on Game Show Network. This can't be happening. My family, how they manage. Men get heart attacks, not women, not me. It's the number one killer of women. It's heart disease, and it's now been proven that the same aspirin you take for pain can help stop women from dying if taken during a heart attack. Can your pain reliever do that? Talk to your doctor now. How do you feel? I'll be fine. Bayer, take it for pain, take it for life. It's happening again. Where's it centered? I got it. It's centered on Elwood Drive. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Back, all civilians back. 2.7! Yeah. 2.9! Oh, I'm feeling it. Go! Move it! Go! 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 Yes! Oh! I just saved hundreds of dollars by switching to GEICO! Yeah! GEICO Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Every day, people ask me how to lose weight. There's really no secret. You gotta eat right and eat less. That's why I recommend Dexatrim. Just one Dexatrim curbs your appetite all day, so you eat less and lose weight. I lost eight pounds. Dexatrim, proven to help you lose weight. Mentadent Surround Toothbrush makes your mouth feel incredibly clean because it gives every tooth special attention. Its outer base moves while its bristles wrap and surround teeth. It's a clean you'll feel in every corner of your mouth. Mentadent Surround. All moved in. What's for lunch? Chicken and star soup. Condensed soup? I used to eat that too. And then I got out of the high chair. You're an adult now. There's a better tasting soup. Progresso chicken noodle. With all white meat chicken, bigger vegetables, just the right seasonings. See the difference? This is better. Now if you could just eat without the bib. <sighs> it's time to go to the better taste of Progresso and win one of 10,000 great prizes. Enter the It's Time to Go Progresso Instant Win Sweepstakes. If you're a diabetic, I'm going to share a big secret with you. I found a way that you may be able to get your supplies at no cost. But wait, there's more. All your supplies come to your door when you need them, so there's no worry about running out. With Diabetic Supply of America, you pay nothing up front. If you have Medicare or private insurance, call Diabetic Supply of America now. You may be able to get diabetic supplies at no cost. Call 1-800-214-4965. Stick around. Survey says great game show. Family Feud up next. Then get fed to the card sharks and buy a vowel from Pat and Vanna on Wheel of Fortune. Steve, you've done practically everything that a person can do in show business. Have you ever directed? No, and I'm available. I would really be interested in directing. I would think you would be a good director. Well, that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would. I'd be great. I think so. <laughs> yeah, Did you direct many of the things or at least influence the direction on the Steve Allen show? Yes, yeah, we had uh, a great camera director, Dwight Hemian, for the most part. I didn't, he didn't need any help in that area, but in working with directing sketches and that sort of thing, yes. Did you ever write any of the sketches? Yes, yeah, we had seven or eight good writers at every good time, but I was one of the, uh, also on the writing staff, so to speak. Well, I tell you, you really do it all. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you around the pool hall. This is Ted Gould speaking for What's My Line, a Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production. Miss Francis Gowns by Bonwit Teller. This program was recorded.
It's time to register to play our interactive game shows. Call 1-800-537-GAME. It's fast.